Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. Today is gonna be a great cook. Yesterday I did a uh, smoked pork butt, so I got a lot of pulled pork left. So this is it right here, a whole bunch of uh, pulled pork. We're actually going to be making pulled pork sandwiches out on the Blackstone griddle. I'm gonna go get the griddle heated up and we'll meet you out there. All right guys, so we're out at the Weber kettle. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some bacon on. All right, take the pulled pork sandwich and bacon. Yes, absolutely. So, you guys have all seen this stuff before. So we're just gonna go ahead and cook this bacon. Okay guys, we're just gonna give it a flip, see what we're looking like. And also the reason why I'm doing the bacon first is um, we're gonna use the bacon grease to cook up the, uh, the pork butt shoulder. Delicious. Looking good. Bring it back in just a minute. All right, guys. So we got the bacon done just how I like it. Uh, nice and crispy and delicious. Still sizzling. I'm going to set the bacon aside over here. <clears throat> oh, you can't, can't see. It's on the other side. Over here. And this thing has four zones. Four hot zones. So you've got so the bacon will be sitting over there. Um, we got four hot zones. This one over here on the other side is uh, completely off, so the bacon will just stay warm over there. Now we've got all of our uh, bacon grease here. So let's go ahead and throw our pulled pork on. So all of our pulled pork, and we're just going to cook that and that, uh, that bacon grease. Also, this pulled pork has some uh, fat in it still, so it'll render down and release some of that fat as well. Okay, so it's been probably about six, seven minutes. Just got it really hot. And it's looking really good right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into little uh, portions here. Just like that. I'm gonna throw some buns on her, a couple buns. This is for me. And we're going in with some cheese. Kobe Jack. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and throw a lid on uh, let's do these two right here. Throw a lid on these two and get it melted. All right, after about 45 seconds, cheese is melted. And the buns, perfect. And the last one is done as well. Oh, nice, cheesy awesomeness. <clears throat> all right, so we got all the meat and everything done. Uh, we'll take you inside and build this uh, sandwich for you. Okay, guys, we are in. And this is what we ended up with. The pulled pork, with the cheese, got the bacon, all this good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build this for you. Super easy. We're going to start with the pulled pork. We can get this thing all on here. Oh man. Yes. Get that on there. <clears throat> then we're gonna add a little bit of Texas style barbecue sauce right to the top of that. Just like that. Add as much as you like. 
or as little as you like, or none at all. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and well, top it this way. <clears throat> top it like this. With a couple fat pieces of bacon. And I also got some jalapeno coleslaw here that I put together. So we're gonna top it with that. Jalapeno coleslaw, yeah. That is awesome. All right, there we are like that. Put the top on there, and this is what you end up with. Take a look and see. Yes, sir. -y. That is the money shot. Awesome. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, cut it up, maybe take a bite or two. Uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we are finished with the cook, and you've seen the monstrosity of a pulled pork sandwich we made. I haven't tried it yet. I did cut it in half. It looks amazing. Let me show you, show you what we got here. Um, maybe without dripping it on the floor, but uh, let me see. If we can get you a picture. Of all that. Oh, the light's not over here anyway. Yes. Awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a bite for it. I mean, this thing is humongous. Mm. Oh guys, that, that is a must try now. That is restaurant quality pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, any restaurant you go to, it's super good. So I um, just want to say thanks. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, there will be a link in the description below. It'll take you to Amazon's homepage. You can buy anything you want on Amazon. If you use this link, you can also use your Prime account as well. It just gives me a couple pennies to help the channel out, stuff like that. Also, if you're new to the channel, Please think about subscribing if you like the content. And um, you know, also check out the iCard for other videos, um, as well as be some other Blackstone videos and stuff uh, like that. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the sandwich. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next cook.